you lose your luggage, it's bad enough, right? But that now the airline has managed to lose a woman's dog, and the way they responded is unbelievable. The airline in question is Air Canada. It admits that it lost a customer's two-year-old greyhound, Larry, seen here. Happened after a canceled flight. The airline claimed one worker let the dog out of its crate, which the owner said, do not do this. But the air airline worker did so anyway to, to take the dog for a walk, trying to do the right thing. But little Larry here took off and ran away. It was not in an enclosed space. Air Canada told the owner it would investigate. Then a local news station reached out to the airline with some questions. And that's when an Air Canada spokesman sent out an email. Oops. Saying, I think it, I would just ignore. It is local news doing a story on a lost dog. There, meaning that that's a sick there. T -t -t their, their entire government is shut down and about to default. And this is how the U.S. media spends its time. He meant to send that to a colleague, obviously. He did not mean to send that to a television news station. It was reportedly meant for a co-worker. Uta Kulik joins us now on the phone. She's the owner of that missing dog, Larry. Uta, thank you. You're very welcome. It's my understanding that a friend of yours had died and, and left this dog to your care. That's, that's absolutely correct. She asked me to place all her dogs in loving homes. And, and you found a loving home? Found a highly, highly recommended home, the nicest people in the world, oh. up in Campbell River, British Columbia. And that's the reason the dog was taking a flight, right? You had carefully put him in a, in a zip-tied container, right? Tell me about that. Yes, um, he was in an, in an approved airline carrier, and I had put four zip ties on the door and personally instructed them never, ever to open that carrier under any circumstances. He had a food and water dish that they could access from the outside in order to give him water or, put, or slide food into the tray, and there was absolutely no reason for this airline to open the door. He had absorbent materials, and he had a real cushy, lovely donut dog bed to sleep in. And then this email came to the news station. I, 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 you know, after all you've been through, I just wondered how that sat. Well, um, it, it's pretty obvious that the person on the other end of this email is uh, extremely cold and very callous. And I was angry. I was very angry. I was also I was angry at the airline, and I was also angry for my government to be. To have this kind of response to what's happening um, in Washington D.C. Yeah, I hear you. Well, the, internationally. The, yeah, Air Canada you know? has told us today that they're out there looking, looking for your poor lost dog, uh, and that they're doing their best, and they they regret how this all went down. <laughs> Anytime you send an email like that by accident, you'd regret it. Uh, I'm sure they would. <laughs> yeah. Ula Kulik, good luck to you. Hope you find your little loved one. Thank you so much, and thank you for all your help in getting the word out. You bet. Stephen Colbert's turned away.